Welcome back, fishing friends, to another adventure. Hey, I'm here at the worldwide headquarters of Casual Observations. I got a little unboxing I need to do for you. So I got my package from Tackle Warehouse, and I'm so excited about what I got in here. So I'm a big fan of these 360 GT search baits from Storm. It's part of the Rapala outfit. The GT means go to, so 360 degrees go to search bait. And I got a couple packs of these jig heads. I never tried the weedless jig heads before, so I got two of those. And uh, let me get those out. That one's in like a bluish color. This one is, <clears throat> excuse me, in like um, almost kind of like a herring color or a Houdini color. And of course these again are in the quarter ounce. And then I got a couple of packs. This one is the true blue. And these are the four and a half inch. And then I got the hot olive. And I'll take uh, these out of here so you can see them. And then one other thing I got was from Euro Tackle. I got a little pack of these mummy worms for micro fishing. I've used them before when I used the white color and they were uh, fantastic. And these are the mummified wax worms in the natural colors, what they call them. But what I did was, is I added a little bit of that gulp minnow juice or liquid in there. And then I let them sit out and dry so that they soaked it up and they do have that odor to them. Now these have a natural odor. It smells kind of like cardboard. But uh, you guys, if you've ever used that, those gold minnows, you know how that stuff smells. <laughs> so I added some of that in there. Not very much, just a little bit. And uh, I didn't want to, you know, wreck the integrity of the mummification stuff here. But um, so I got these good to go, ready to go, I mean, and I'll be excited to use those. Okay, so the these 360 search baits. They come in the three and a half, which looks like this. And then these that you see right here, the four and a half inch. The three and a half inch, you can swap out, as with all of them, the different jig heads. So the one on the top here is the Houdini color. The one on the bottom here, I think it's called the herring color. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> or it may be called uh, the shad color. So I got those, and then I've got the five and a half, which I use for northern pike and for musky fishing. And I've I've caught some northern on this before. I've even caught a bass on that. But this is what the body looks like. And it has the natural cutout for the jig head. And then it'll have a little dot right, right back here where it indicates where the hook should come out. Sometimes you'll see it where it's already punched out on some of the... Um, ones that you get <clears throat> but it's really easy once you get them hooked up it, just like it says you just, at 360 degree any direction where you're fishing just fire it out there and let it do uh, its thing all right let me pull uh, one of these out we'll go with the hot olive oops and they need to put the camera down there we go. All right. So let me get the sizes here so you can see the comparison. So you got the littlest, the three and a half. Then you go to the four and a half and the five and a half. That one's a little crooked. I rigged that one a little bit off. Okay, this one is set nice. All right, so there you go. There's the three sizes right there. These are all Houdinis, and the one, except for the one in the middle is the hot olive. But uh, like I was saying, I've caught, you know, small mouth, large mouth, I've caught some Northern Pike on them. You can catch walleye on these. Uh, these are absolutely fantastic. I went trolling uh, on Lake Rathburn up in Iowa 
and I used this three and a half incher and it got down deep enough and I caught a nice walleye on it and just fishing the creeks and some of the rough water up there in the, the Iowa River, upper Iowa River and the Turkey River in Iowa um, and the Shell Rock River pulled in a nice northern pike and of course got some smallmouth. But if you haven't tried these, go for it. Give them a shot. You know, I haven't tried the, the weedless jig heads for him yet so i'm going to test that out i've never had any trouble with these snagging anyway but i was just curious about it and uh i can throw in a little bit more heavy cover and we'll see how that turns out but uh that's going to be it for today guys give it a shot try them out you know they're it's good stuff there's a lot of research that has gone into them the body styles and uh all that kind of stuff the jig heads are real durable and you know, get out there and have some fun. All right, until next time, I'll see you guys then. Hey, guys, I just wanted to go through the links for you, and I'll put them down in the in the description here. So this is the Rapala page, and I went to Storm and then the 360 search bait, and it gives you all the choices here. You've got the bodies, you know, the combos, the jig heads. Here's the new one that has the swimmer that has a little lip on it. Then you can order the jig heads, like uh, the weedless, I ordered a couple of these, and I got the true blues, and then I got the smelt color, that's what I couldn't remember what it was called, the smelt. But let's take a look at this. So you're going to come in here, you're going to make your selection, uh, let's say four and a half inch, then you're going to come down here, it's, you know, the bodies are going to be rigged, so you have the colors, you have herring, hot olive. Houdini, that's the one I've used the most, and I have a lot of good luck with it. You have the Maryland, the smell tears, that one I was talking about. You know, the cool thing is with these, that the jig heads have a rattle in them, the newer ones. And when I say newer, I mean the, you know, the last couple years. When I first got the, you know, my first pack of the Houdinis, the jig heads didn't have the rattle in them. And, you know, I didn't mind that. And I still don't mind it. But, you know, these newer ones, uh, like the one, the ones I just picked up and ordered, they do have the rattle in them. And that's a great feature also. So it's just kind of personal preference there. Then here's the True Blue. You've got the Gaga. Volunteer. Smoke and Ghost. Pearl Ice. And Chartreuse Ice. And, you know, the other, the other thing is, just, you know, the price isn't that... You know, they're not that bad. You can pick up a couple of packs of these. and I mean, they're just a great bait. And, of course, it's got uh, videos down here that you can take a look at. And it goes through the information with you. And it's got the specs, like the product details, all of that. So that you can uh, get informed before you make your purchase. Now, over here at Tackle Warehouse, you've got them all laid out here by the body color and just select the size that you want and go from there and like I was saying I had a lot of good luck with the Houdini color but uh, the smelt looks pretty good and then the true blue and up north when I've been fishing up there up in northeast Iowa and even in Wisconsin that blue even when I throw like a, a jig like a football jig or a swimming jig or like the bitsy bite jig that blue and black combo or is just I don't know they they just hit on that like you wouldn't believe and the Kalins has kind of like that ocean blue that pearl blue or speck blue and I've had a lot of luck with that so I went ahead and picked up the true blue and I'm gonna give that a test and try it out this summer and see how that goes but anyway so those are the two websites to go through I pick some of these up just like it says you know 360 degrees no matter where you throw it it's going to be your go-to bait it's good stuff and it's going to be a nice tool to add to your arsenal of things to test out you know my go-to's are usually the MEPS inline spinners the Kalins Lunker Grub for top water it's always the Whopper Plopper and uh, by heading what is it the Super Spook Junior I love throwing that thing then there's these for storms 
always has some great swim baits. But I love these right here. And like I was saying before, I've caught smallmouth, northern pike. Uh, I notice that they do now have a two and a half inch. And I'm real curious about these. I may have to order some because I may try these for trout fishing just to see how they they go. I'm going to get probably the Houdini and the herring color. But I may have to try those out. That, that seems really interesting right there. Anyway, so here's the information that uh, you can go and take a look at. Uh, just have fun with it. You know, experiment. That's a great thing about fishing is trying all kinds of different things. You know, I'm excited about my MTB boxes coming in. Because if things work out really well with some of the stuff I experiment with there, then, you know, I'll pick them up and add them uh, to my arsenal for sure. And, uh, you know, I just, I get all geeked up about fishing and testing out different stuff. And, you know, I just enjoy it. It's a great hobby. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.